All right, welcome to cube draft number 16. And let's see. I'm really still thinking this blue-white deck is the way to go. It's been pretty nuts up to this point. This pack has a couple good cards. It's got uh, Dismiss, Mana War, Exalted Angel. This guy is probably pretty decent. The Dalkin Shackles is probably the best card in the pack, so I'm going to go with that. It's going to be rough. I'm going to be passing all these blue-white cards. Someone else is probably going to try to go blue-white, but oh well. What are you going to do? All right, so we've got some really good cards in this pack. we got Sheldock Isle, Grim Monolith. Uh, Stone Cloaker, he's not very good, is it? No. Um, I think I'm going to go with the Grim Monolith, even though Sheldock Isle might be better here. I'm not really 100% sure, but Grim Monolith lets you do crazy stuff. Uh, play like Frost Titan or some other things early. So yeah, I'm going to go with the uh, Grim Monolith. Not happy about passing Sheldock Isle. Again, encourage someone to go blue, but... I rather have I need to I need the best cards I can get, I think. Not not too worried about my opponents what they do. There's enough good cards in the cube that I think I can force the blue white here and be okay. Plus it's only the second pack coming back that uh where I get really punished for passing the those things. So it's only one of the three packs, does it really matter anyways? Okay, well, yeah. Oh, ooh, there we go. Wow. Dang. Oh, no. This pack is nuts. Ah, uh, I don't want to pass Coalition Relic. That's crazy. But I can't pass Frost Titan. He's the best guy. Oh, uh, man. Uh, shoot. That guy just ends games. I can't pass him. Oh, my goodness. Encrypted Command. Dang. Marshall Coup, that's one of the best cards ever, too. Alright, well, uh, I'm taking the Frost Titan. You can't pass Frost Titan. Maybe I could. Maybe I need to take Coalition Relic. Nah, this guy. Uh, I just want to have this guy. He's so crazy. Okay, and there's Condemn. That seems like a good one. I'll probably just go with Condemn. There's Prismatic Lens, which is solid, uh, but I'd rather just have Condemn. Uh, sometimes I feel like I get punished if I make the wrong pick, and I, that Frost Titan was probably the wrong pick, so now I'm getting garbage. That's what's supposed to happen, I guess, but oh well, I'll take this processor. It's a playable, I suppose. Um... There's nothing in this pack for me. Guess I'll take Time Spiral. Ooh, Hollow Fountain, sweet. Uh, Angel of Despair. I guess I did beat that guy playing Reanimator earlier, but that card almost completely destroyed me. All right, Hollow Fountain, sweet. It's a late Hollow Fountain. This deck is weird so far. <laughs> Hollow Fountain's awesome because it counts as an island for the. Uh, Shackles. Alright, what do we got? Narcolepsy? Yeah, that's a card. Not a good one, but not a bad one. Playable. Shuts down whatever ails you, I guess. Man, I hate pace, passing Coalition Relic, but I could never, I, I don't know, I can't. How can you pass this guy? He's so nuts. This is only decent. Alright, so I got the Talran Sky Summoner guy back. Again, I'm not so sure about that guy. 
I drafted him once before and didn't play him. I think I put him on my deck, but never drew him or something. Or I think I did draw him, but it wasn't going to be good enough. But, who knows. Alright, so nothing in this pack at all. Guess I'll take the Elves of Deep Shadow. Mostly afraid of that, maybe. Someone going super fast on me. Oh, wow. Sweet. Got back the Marshall Coup or Cryptic Command. Oh, my gosh. Well, still pretty confident the Marshall Coup is a better card than Cryptic Command. It's a more... It's funny. I had the same pick lad. I wouldn't ever expect to have this option with five cards in the pack. But, uh, yeah, I think Marshall Coup is just a better, better card in this, even though they're both broken as all get out. Okay, well, what am I most concerned with? I guess Rampant Growth. Random Donk. Okay, Wildfire or Rootbound Crag? Let's take someone's Wildfire from them. And the Burning of Zing Zhao. Wow. Ha! <laughs> Makes me wonder. Maybe I should have taken Cryptic Command and went... Uh, Red, blue. How to pick up two wildfires in a row? That's that's pretty interesting. That's a whole deck right there. And now, if I had that coalition relic, I definitely would. If I could have had that, if I knew this was happening, I'd rather have coalition relic. But you can't know the future. Ooh, jit. I think that is going to be my pick, even though I usually don't have a ton of creatures. Hopefully, this guy comes back. He's really good. I actually like the blue white decks that have more creatures, I think, than any than not. But yeah, I can't pass a jit. Are you kidding me? Card's insane. Doing it. Just gotta draw some creature draft some creatures now. Ooh, Terminus. Ulamog. Can I go big? Super big? Terminus. Now is the question. Where do I make do I make Ooh, I also have Flooded Strand in here, which I have to think about. Do I go? Nah, that's not that good. I mean, it's good, obviously, but I'm going to go for... Now that I've got the Jit, I need to try to draft some more creatures, I think. <laughs> now, now that I say that, do I take the Dungeon Geist, which is the best blue-white creature, or do I go for the Flooded Strand to fix my land? Uh, that's a tough one, isn't it? Dungeon Geist is pretty decent. I think I'd rather fix my mana... I can find something else to stick Jet on. So let's do that, I guess. Yep. Yeah, I think I'd rather have that. That's kind of a weird pick, isn't it? Not so sure about that one. So we've got pretty close to nothing in this pack. I could try to do the uh, smokestack thing. I'll just do four spike, I guess. That's a pretty decent card. There's even Mind Sensor, which is okay, but there's not a ton of shuffling in this. Plus, I have a Sack Land, so... Oh, no, it doesn't affect you, just your opponent. So, yeah, I could go Smokestack. Maybe that's a good card. Maybe this kind of deck wants to play Smokestack. I don't think so, though. Stick with the Force Spike. All right. Let's see. I got Mold Drifter. That's good. Ooh, Heartbeat. That's the combo card you need. Yeah, I'm going to go Mold Drifter. This card's really, really good. And you can put Jit on it. So maybe this Talran the Summoner gets better now that I have Jit. Mirror and Crusader with Jit? Yes, that's good. 
Days is good. Once that piece again gets my Hollowed Fountain, that's an option, I suppose. But I think uh, Mirror and Crusader is going to be where I want where I want to be. Seems pretty nuts. Super solid guy. So let's do that. Ooh, Precursor Golem, sweet. All right. Ooh, Revel Arc. And click. Jesus pack is stacked for me. Even Celestial Purge is a good cyborg card. So, anyways, this is a kind of an interesting pick. I do have Mold Drifter, Crusader, Talrund. Um, so the Revel Arc would be pr could potentially be pretty good. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Precursor Golem's easier to cast, um, and it well they're both about this. They're both simple to cast. Who am I kidding? Um, but this guy just ends games. I've won so many games off Precursor Golem. I'm not I'm not passing him. You just drop him and win basically. Oh my golly, Sphinx's Revelation. Bam! This was the pack I was supposed to not get the blue white cards passed to me too. All right, definitely taking that. Loving it. That's a game breaker if I ever seen one. Sweet. Yeah, maybe I wish I would have taken that coalition relic now. Ooh, tundra. Sweet action. That's so good. Oh, I'm so happy to get the tundra here. Wow, that's a late tundra. So good. Yes. All right. Well, I could get the take the clifftop retreat uh, with the idea of possibly playing with these uh, wildfires. Although I'm playing, going to plan on playing a bunch of dudes, so maybe that doesn't make any sense. The other card I would take, I guess, would be tumble magnet. That's a decent card. Pretty good in blue white. I guess I'll take tumble magnet. Just give up on the whole idea of playing red. That's fine. I think I'll take this Ankh of Mishra. It's the card I want to play against least. Yep. Wow, two blue-green dual lands in that pack. Lucky someone's going to get hooked up. Ankh. Man, that card is annoying to play against. Glad I don't have to play against that. Um, alright, so Smokestack or Avon Mind Sensor. Do I think I'm a Smokestack deck? Smokestack deck yet? I don't know, I do have Talra in the summer. That would be a pretty good combo. I'm going to take the Smokestack. I don't think I have any use for this guy. A 2-1 flyer. It doesn't really do much. Gotta be able to do better than that. Alright, I'm going to take kill this Heartbeat of Spring. Nobody's com no one's going to go combo on me. Razor main master core, nice, nice sideboard card. Good, good against uh, aggro or creatures or what have you. Yep, he's good, good, good dude to have. Not nec I don't know if he's good enough. Ma oh my gosh, Revelar came back. That's insane. Sweet. That's so good. <laughs> yep, glad I took that uh, precursor golem over Revelar. <laughs> Wow, it must be the, this is nuts. I can't believe that something like that would come that way. I guess, yeah, it, it's not that nuts actually in QB. I always think that. Like in this situation, it feels like that's unbelievable. How could that possibly happen? But then, but with QB, you generally draft a deck type. And so, if someone, if no, if that doesn't work in anybody's deck type, it's a complete garbage and it looks total, totally like garbage. But then from my angle, it looks insanely good. So, anyways, control magic. That's the obvious pick. Um, hopefully the Sublime Archangel comes back. It's possible. Uh, if Rebel Arc came second to last, I don't see why uh, Sublime Archangel couldn't come back to the end. Uh, ooh, Decree of Justice. Whoa, I have not played with this card at all yet. Ooh, there's also Rift, the Riftwing Cloudscape. That's a good one. I always lose. This card is like one of the, I don't know why. I always lose when someone plays that for some reason. But yeah, Decree of Justice, that'll be fun to play. That'll be fun. Nice. Nice. Ooh, Yose. I don't know if that's good enough. Paladin Vec. Another Duder for Jit. Nah. I think I could take this Yose, although I don't really care much about it. 
I'm going to take Preordain. It's just a better card. Man, Underground Sea. I always want to take it even though I'm not in black. <laughs> yeah, Preordain. Okay. Martial Law. Well, I have Wake. I could take Wake Thrasher. And that is pretty good with the Grim Monolith. Because you can. If you have it untapped during your turn, you can basically plus one, plus one him for every land you have out. And that's pretty good. Um, I do like Wake Thrasher a lot. He's He can just randomly win you games. That's kind of cool enough just to play, but. I think I'm going to go with this Martial Law. If I happen to get a Wrath, then it makes my Wrath way better. This is a solid, solid card. Wake Thrasher might come back, too. Ooh, Port. I think I'm going to take Port. Ooh, this card really won me a match, though, once. Um, maybe I should uh, think about it. Maybe that will probably wheel, though. No one's going to take that, I don't think. Uh, port, yeah. Port is good. I like the Port a lot. This guy might be good in my deck, too. Um, I have a lot of dudes, so maybe okay. But he's the worst planeswalker, probably. Maybe t I mean maybe the what's this the red two red two red red guy or whatever. He's probably the worst. Oh yeah. All right. So here we go. Parallax wave. That's gonna be good. In a creature beat down white blue deck. Yep. That'll do it. That's a good one to get. Uh, dang. Dark confidant. Crafted war gear. That makes your guys pretty dang huge, doesn't it? Hmm. Or do I want a dumb, stupid dumb porcelain legionnaire? Um. Crafted war gear might be pretty good. I don't know. It kind of does nothing. They both kind of do nothings. I mean, this is possibly better. I don't know. Tough to say. Tough to say. But I think crafted war gear could be pretty nuts. I'm just going to take it. I, I really don't care about Legionnaire. It's alright, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Okay. Cloud Goat Ranger is super good. Silver Blade Paladin. I think I want to go with Silver Blade Paladin here. Double, two Double Strike guys, and I've got the Mirror Crusader. And I could really just do some major blue white beats here. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with the Silver Blade Paladin. Yep. That sounds good. Ooh, the Sublime Archangel came back. Alright, great. Cool. Now I am definitely on this uh, blue-white beatdown strategy. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny to say that. Hey, Glorious Anthem might actually be good in this. <laughs> actually, it will. That's funny. I'm like, okay, now I'm doing it with four cards left in the in the draft or whatever. <laughs> <Could I? laughs> well, I, I guess it's not too crazy to say that because I have a lot of different a lot of cards in the deck that are um, like can go different like a slower controlish strategy in a way although I don't have any uh, counter spells besides force spike so yeah I'm pretty much all in on this the uh, beat down beat down strat I'm glad I got martial coup because that's one of the best like wrath to have with creature deck thing strategy I guess I don't know if this is good enough. Plus one, plus one, is that worth it? Probably, with all creatures. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun deck. I think it will go fast. and um, Yeah, I won't have to mess around too lot, too much. I'm a, should I take this Empty the Warrens so I don't get comboed out? None of this other stuff worries me too much. Drain Hermit might get me in the creature matchup. Well, maybe I'll just pass this Empty the Warrens. Let someone try to combo get rid of that deranged tournament that would be the worst more oh yeah wake thrasher okay okay this deck is gonna be fun oh yeah I'm glad I'm really glad I got that guy that's super cool yeah, this is gonna be a good deck I think yep solitary priest that kinda goes in the strategy I might play that that's kinda interesting that terminate Usually, the long egg. You even play Phantasmal Bear, I guess, if I wanted to. This is going to be fun to build. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it exactly. This is going to be a good, 
good fun deck to play. Real quick, real fast deck. Should be fast games. Not exactly what I want to do with blue white control. Normally I want to go more controlish, but this seems like it's going to be pretty fun. I'm not sure on Glorious Hampton. I'm not sure on the Solteri Priest, but since I'm on beatdown, I might. If I could Silverblade Paladin up the Solteri Priest and put a a uh, Grafted War Gear on it, dude, that sounds awesome. Let's do it. Talrand, I don't know, I don't think so, because I don't have any, I'm going to be playing a lot of incense and sorceries, so that's probably not going to happen. Let's see, Precursor, Smokestack, that's kind of not what I'm trying to do at all, so I think not. Tumble Magnet's definitely where I want to be, though. Grim Monolith, I think so, I have some good stuff. I have Decree to use it on, Martial Coup, um... Frost Titan to go like turn four Frost Titan that can win just straight win the game for you. Definitely four spike here. Um, hmm. Processor's all right actually. I don't know though. I'm not sure. Endless supply of dudes. That sounds all right. Maybe I just want the condemn target attacker. So I can. But uh, I think I'd just rather have glorious anthem. I don't know. Let's see. What do we got? For creatures. Wouldn't I rather have Condemned than Glorious Anthem, though? It's got to be better, right? Although Glorious Anthem with Crusader, Paladin, uh, I guess that's about it. Oh, and then Decree uh, of... Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm definitely playing Glorious Anthem with, all the, with those two uh, because of these two things. And Precursor Golem, and yeah, there's a lot of reasons to play Glorious Anthem, actually. I could play 16 lands in this deck. I don't have that high a curve. I'm pretty much needing to get to three lands, and then I can be done. But I have the port, so maybe not. Um, it's good having a couple anti-creature cards, I suppose. Although Condemn, I don't want them gaining life as a thing, and I don't know. Maybe it's good enough. Yeah. Definitely, definitely want to. I could take out Force Spike, I guess. I'm a, kind of a tap out deck. It's not super important. You could get them, but I don't want to take out any of the other cards, I think. I don't think. Yeah, I don't have to worry about anything. I think this is good. This looks cool. processor in the sideboard. Huh. Yeah, this seems awesome. I don't know. This is going to be interesting. I don't know if it's good or not, actually. Add land. Let's see. Sort by color. So a lot more white than blue. So suggest whoa. Really? Nine and four? How smart is magic online? Four, five, six, seven. Only seven sources of blue. And then nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That seems unnecessary to do that to myself. Although I do need the second white, like, on the spot, don't I? Hmm. Eight, nine, ten, eleven white? Hmm. I only need one blue. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I can't play less than eight blue. That's crazy. Okay, going with that. 